Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's April 7, 2024 and right now it is 5.53 p.m. New York time. Outside temperature is 55th Fahrenheit, which is 13 degrees Celsius. It seems very warm, nice and sunny day here in New York City, but in general or in real life, it is cold. Uh, with this wind, things makes a little bit chilly, even though temperature-wise, we are doing much better. But some warm days are coming up when temperature will be above 60 degrees. So if you just join, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. And if you wonder where am I right now exactly, I'm right outside of the Irish Hunger Memorial right here. As you can see, start my video. I don't know where I will go, but it's gonna be just a random strolling through Manhattan. Tomorrow is a big day. Finally, the solar eclipse will happening. So far, as per the weather forecast, the weather seems it will be cloudy, but I don't know. But at least no forecast for rain. Hey there, Jeff, Alex, Lena, welcome. Right here, the one vaulted center. The city seems slightly empty. I think it's something to do with the solar eclipse because a lot of people are traveling outside of the city, I guess, to enjoy the solar eclipse because this fine Sunday evening, it should be way more crowded than you are, think you are seeing right now. Like, yeah, because New York City is not the prime location to see the solar eclipse. Uh, Niagara Falls will be the best some place in like upstate will be better so i guess a lot of people are like traveling outside of the city or maybe they're already like left the city so things are seems more calm and quiet today especially this part of the city but again usually this part of the city is not like midtown manhattan always like very chaotic no it's slightly have some calm vibes but surprisingly on this fine Sunday evening I expect to be more crowded hey Jason inspired life Ron TV Metro Avian Aviana welcome I'm right outside of one vault at center look at it
I think today is a tulip day. At Union Square, almost 200,000 tulips was given away to commemorate the brief history between Dutch and New York. But I couldn't join, got some work. But as I said, I'm going to give you something interesting soon. Yeah, Nancy, I just explained why it might be quiet today. But the only good thing, it's really like sunny. Finally, we can enjoy some sunshine after a like really gloomy week, perhaps a month. <laughs> hey, Sal, welcome. Yeah, I can feel it already that Niagara Falls, both in Canadian and American side, are packed now with tourists. Because that's one of the prime location uh, to like experience solar eclipsing. But most of the buildings here, uh, it's office building in financial district, but they do have a lot of apartments. That's whatever people you are seeing, mostly local tourists and people who are coming from outside of the city to work here. They are not coming here today because it's Sunday. Offices are closed. that's also a different vibe here we always like love to see all those uh, hustle and bustle but sometimes some um, coming natural like this makes you feel happy and you will discover a new New York City Red Trunk saying Sifa thank you chat for so many nice things they say to me Friday Oh, that's like it was a surprise and I guess I'll uh, chat enjoy seeing you in person finally because you you have been such a generous supporter for the channel so we sure enjoy your surprise appearance on this live stream but thank you so much Red Trunk thank you so much Red Trunk I appreciate that and have a great day thank you Red Look at the view from here. The light, the sunshine, everything perfect. This way is Tribeca neighborhood. I think I'm gonna walk towards the Tribeca neighborhood. That's gonna be much better. Hey, Davey in Kansas. Salm, welcome. Lot to video, married. Yeah, guys, if you just join, hit that like button. Hey, Darcina, welcome. Barclay Street right here. 
street named Barclay. You can actually see Midtown Manhattan. See? 432 Park Avenue, Summit 1 Vanderbilt. But that's a long way from my location. Real long way. A big bus. Hey, Asian Pose, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, this is where basically John F. Kennedy Jr. used to live, but also a lot of celebrities have their place or used to live here. One of the like really famous one, Taylor Swift. She got her apartment here, 155th Franklin Street. But long time no see, Asian Pose. Good to see you. Sundays usually uh, be like this. Yeah, New York do had a lot of history, definitely. Well, now uh, Empire State Building makes a debut. Look at that. There she is. So this is basically West Broadway and Murray Street. Uh, this area do have like a lot of um, townhouses that will give you like old uh, old New York vibes especially these fire escapes that's even give you extra contrast imagine New York having so many buildings like the one you are seeing right there we may not have enough sunlight then everything will be get blocked now Warren Street right here and West Broadway. Hey there, Robin Kim. You'll see more great architecture right here. What the heck? <laughs> That's taxi make a right turn, but he pretty much crashed through the barrier. Now this is Chamber Street Station for 1, 2 and 3. We got a clock over there which telling me it's 6 or 5 p.m. New York time. Now we can see a lot of people. Now it feels like New York City again, right? <laughs> I want to cross the street. I like this plaza right here with these pear trees and the clock. But I must show you this view. I just discovered right now. Look at it. There are always something new that you're going to discover throughout your walk. 
and also how could I not point out towards the Jenga Tower. See, such a lovely area. Even we got a magnolia giving me some nice fragrance. Ah, oh, smells good. Oh, that would be my new thumbnail. I wanna take some photo. This is what I, what are you talking about? This is all about New York. Uh, hold on a second, let me change my thumbnail. I really like this, like this view. I won't take more than two seconds, so just bear with me, guys. All right, we are good to go. Like, this is such a New York vibes right here. I can't miss this shot. What she is doing over there? She's climbing up the pole to set up a camera or a power cord, I don't know. Yeah. And there is Bluestone Lane over there. Also this particular block right here got a lot of like really cool houses, pretty architecture. See, especially this red building. This is Reed Street and next will be Duen. So it's Duen Red Street, <laughs> Morgan's Market. This is kind of one of the like very nice, elegant neighborhood. What flower it is, smells good. Did I miss anything? Let me know. This is also right shot. Yeah, this is Tribeca. Tribeca neighborhood. Hudson Street and Duane Street intersection right here.
This is 60 Hudson Street, basically. This huge building right here. Also, uh, Tribeca is one of the few neighborhood here in New York City. You will find like different types of um, beautiful cast iron building facade and also Cobblestone Street. See this facade right here, cast iron. But Soho will be the best if you want to see like cast iron architecture. This is uh, another Cobblestone Street right here, Harrison Street. The sun will set in this direction. That's basically the Hudson River. And there we go. I hate this lens flare. Not gonna point out towards the sun. So what do you guys are up to for the solar eclipsing? Any plan? Let me know in the comments. Love to know your plan if you are or if you are on a way of solar eclipse. This is Franklin Street, and that over there, Taylor Swift House, this one. One fifty-five Franklin Street, right there, this building. I can see the sign for Holland Tunnel. To New Jersey. Oh, awesome, Jeff. That's good. Good for you. I don't know, Lena, what I'm gonna do, <laughs> but definitely I'm gonna make videos. <laughs> but the only question where I will be. I don't wanna walk farther this way. I'm gonna cut through this street right here. Such a great neighborhood. I love Tribeca, look at it. I don't know how well I could capture the solar eclipsing, but we'll try. Well, that's good, April. I mean, New York City will only get 90%, not like the full thing. But still, people are hyped. But a lot of people, as I said, uh, a lot of people are basically traveling outside. I think most of them are already left the city because uh, imagine living tomorrow morning will be such a like uh, tight schedule. Tomorrow traffic will be so crazy on in interstate highways. 
and a lot of people are planning this like for a year <laughs> that where how they will enjoy the show I mean the phenomena Alex saying Boston will get 95% oh, wow 5% more than New York City great And for all the Ghostbuster fan, I'm here at this Ghostbuster firehouse again. Right over there, this is the Ghostbuster firehouse. Last time when I was here, they were basically um, getting ready for their new movie premiere. The Ghostbuster Frozen Empire. Perfect. Hook and Ladder 8. This way, that's a Hudson Yard. It's open actually. Look at it. You can see through what's going on inside the firehouse. This is an actual firehouse, by the way. So it's not just for making for movie, no. It's a real firehouse or a fire station. So obviously you can't go inside, but you can take a look as much as you want from outside but some special event Ghostbuster fans gather around here in this area and such a festive and nice vibes hey Firestrom um. I'm wondering how old that sign is over there. It's saying good, uh, Goodell Rubber Company. Industrial Rubber Production. Also this one, this sign looks very old. And this liquor shop right here. They got those vintage neon lights. Especially, this caught my attention. This is Beach Street. Yeah, this is unusual. <laughs> so empty. And a lot of people just think New York City is only like uh, no greeneries, only about Times Square, the way you will not see any greeneries there. But it's not true. New York City has over, how many? 1700 park. So 1700 parks. So New York City do had a lot of greeneries. And that's why, after having all those people, cars, New York City, still got a fairly decent air quality. I would not say that New York City got the best, best, best air quality, but it got a decent air quality, you know, compared to a city like New York. Next is Canal Street. 
I probably walk towards uh, Chinatown via Canal Street. I like seeing see if uh, the good all good all rubber fa factory or commercial date back to 1930s. I knew it because the sign seems very old and imagine that building is from maybe the similar time, even older. Gotta wait here. Or the lights. This is Canal Street. Canal Street should be busy. Another dollar fifty pizza. This for sure used to be a dollar pizza. I know this place they had a couple of them throughout the city. But now that they are dollar. Dollar fifty, my bad. Yes, yeah, so the weather will be fairly warm, but tomorrow the only thing it will be slightly gloomy, cloudy day. Hopefully, that won't happening. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna have a clear sky, at least right when um, the solar eclipse will happen. That's my wish. Tribeca bagels right here, open 24 hours. Yeah, New York City too had a lot of deli, bodega, that open uh, runs for 24 hours. But after pandemic, some of them are like change their time and close early, not operate 24 hours anymore. But most of them still do. Ellison St. Bryan Park is her favorite park. I mean, I like Bryan Park too, but I don't think so. Anywhere in Midtown Manhattan will be a Unless you are on top of any observation tower, it would be a good spot for experiencing solar eclipse, that phenomenon, no. because you maybe not see the sun from there. You need to go to the open space. Oh no, I don't want to walk under this scaffolding. I'm gonna cross the street right here. I see a lot of like shady people over there hanging out. So I just don't wanna have any trouble or causing any issue. That over there, right outside the canal smoke shop. They will do something stupid I knew. So better I cross and avoid them. See, the whole scaffolding so shady you can tell just by looking at them most of them are illegal bag vendors high in drugs and obviously they will not be happy when you walk around there with the camera Hey, Dinesh, welcome. I'm walking towards the Broadway now. Broadway and Canal. Sharon. Yeah. 
Soho, Chinatown, Little Italy, all these area are in a small combined section of the city. Like you will find them side by side. Like this is part of Soho. So you can see all those cobblestone street and cast iron buildings. But if I walk farther, like mostly after Broadway, it's considered Chinatown. And Little Italy is basically inside Chinatown. Canal Street is one of the places where you can get all those like designer fast and copy bags, all those things, gifts. Uh, what does Soho stand for? South of Houston Street or South of Houston. There is also Noho, north of Houston, even though you might say that it should be sound or pronounced like Houston, like Texas, no, but here it pronounced at Houston. Here, Broadway and Canal Street, and this is the Canal Street station for NQRNW. All these Soho. Now, this portion of the city is fairly lively compared to where I was. There are so many like Lost Tacos number one, Steven. I don't know which one you particularly talking about. But yes, I've been to a few of them, but I don't know exactly what or which one you are talking about. But yeah, but the one I personally recommend and like that is near um, the Grand Central Terminal. That Lost Tacos number one is the best Lost Tacos number one. So yeah. See? They are not happy. I'm walking with camera. So why do you do things that is makes you feel guilty? Get a better job. You shouldn't be do things that makes you shameful to the others. All the Canal Street occupied by this uh, vendors. And all these are gift shops, like a lot of them. Like these gift shops owners are fairly enough nice, but the only problem with those, those vendors, that vendors are, uh, those vendors are like just uh, crazy. And sometimes they even get more rough. By the way, let's forget about that. This is, uh, Manhattan Municipal Building. Oh, I think I missed a super chat. 
Hey, Dinesh, thank you so much. Thanks for the support. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Dinesh. I appreciate that and have a great evening. Appreciate that, man. I don't judge, but their behavior makes me judge them. So I will judge. I don't let anyone make me down. If anyone do bad thing about me, I'll not like, I will stand for my rights. I'm not like super philosopher that someone gonna makes me looks bad someone will let me down and I'll leave leave in them leave them alone no I'm gonna get the hell out of them if they think they're bad then I'm their dad But folks, if you need like really uh, some souvenir with a low cost or in a budget, then do come here. Because Midtown Manhattan gift shops are fairly expensive compared to the lower Manhattan one. Lower Manhattan one are like, they had a lot of competition, so they they always want to have some fair price on everything. Rather than Midtown Manhattan has very limited opportunity to sell, so they'd like had to pay more rents, bills, <laughs> so they charge more. Let's walk on a uh, little Italy. Oh, seems like a new restaurant. Oh wow, I don't know. These vibes look so good. Like after sunset vibes. After sunset vibes right here. That looks lovely now. That's where all the people are. <laughs> I was in a wrong area. <laughs> Literally no one is there. Welcome to Little Italy. By the way, hit that like button guys if you haven't. It's technically a car free street. So no car can pass through here. Thank you Roland. Restaurante Italiano. Italiano. A lot of people are just chilling. Hey, Charlotte, hello. Asian posting how much of the city revenue is tourism. Uh, I don't have the exact data, but New York City, like, fairly, I, I, I think over, over 40%. But as I said, I'm not so sure. So, I think so. But this year, New York City is expected to have 80 to 90 million people. 80 to 90 million. You can imagine. 
how much revenue New York City will generate from this tourism. Like 90 million people, it's not a joke. Yeah, I'll take a look later. Now correct me. <laughs> yeah, obviously New York's New York City will give you so many like diverse options to explore. And also maybe whatever community you belong to, you're gonna find it here. Alex Singh, last year revenue from tourism of New York City was 70, 74 billion. That's sick. That's sick. Can you search, Alex, how many percentage of New York City's revenue coming from uh, the tourism? Hey there, stylish bunny, welcome. Good to see you. I mean, whenever I walk here in this area, Little Italy, especially Mulberry Street, it reminds me um, the Feast of San Gennaro. Like last year, Feast of San Gennaro was like one of the uh, funniest, liveliest uh, Feast of San Gennaro we had so far. Like we had so much fun. The street was packed. Um, we had so much fun, so I'm getting excited again, just thinking of uh, we are getting close to the feast again. Like, I believe that the Feast of San Gennaro is like the early sign that we are getting into holiday season or a holiday spirit. Uh, Charlene, this is mostly like a really commercial area, uh, but you can do get rents here. Like it's Manhattan, so it it will be obviously expensive. This is Broom Street. Look at this. Sunset time is the best time, like the golden hours. Oh my god. This white car caused a problem almost. Glad he has stopped. Some people are not just looking their mirror. There is a reason we got side mirror. Before we making any move, we should take those. If you watch my latest video that I post this morning, you will see a like really rough driver almost ran over me and a lot of other pedestrians. And you even hear the police was yelling at him. Like he was not even stopping on a red light. He even ran through it almost so not... like ran over us. I post that video this morning. When I, I, when I crossed the 42nd and 5th Avenue, right there it happened on the video. Unbelievable. It was purely red and there was five traffic officers uh, like controlling the traffic. Even after they cannot stop that guy. <laughs> he just keep driving. When you drive in Manhattan, you need a lot of patience. Especially you had to deal with a lot of bikers, pedestrians, things like that. 
So you do need a lot of patience. So that's why I always say it. even you had a sign to walk after it's turn green, wait a few seconds because there will be always some nasty people <coughs> who are gonna ran you over. And another thing, maybe you guys are not familiar here in New York City, you cannot make a right turn on red. No right turn are allowed on red. But in some area in New York City, they had posted sign, only there you can like make right turn. But they are very few, three or four, I guess. So no right turn are allowed on red. But you can do right turn on red in Long Island. By the way, this is upside pizza. I don't know why it's called upside. <laughs> Maybe they serve it as an upside way. Since I'm walking towards the Soho, so you will see a lot of like designer clothing stuff. Like, I love this area. Always had some, some vibrant vibes. Ruby Rosa Pizza. Sometimes I saw a lot of people wait outside, especially like they want to pick up order. Next is Prince Street. Also Prince Street Pizza here in this area, very popular. You had to like walk towards right on Prince Street for two minutes and you're going to find that Prince Street Pizza quite popular here. This is Mulberry and Prince Street intersection. Right here on Prince Street, if you walk towards, I would say, east. Right there, that's the Prince Street Pizza. Very popular here. All right, now let's get into Soho. That's a fairly lo lively area. Uh oh, don't do jaywalking here, ladies. This is how it's tough to find parking right over there.
I think those parking are long term, long term parking. Like a lot of people who live nearby in this area maybe don't have parking, so they just uh, store them. All right, it is so lively now. Love it. All the people are doing shopping. <laughs> it's shopping time, folks. Back at Broadway, you see this lady has a lot of tulips. She's coming from Union Square. As I say, 200,000 tulips are at Union Square giving away for free. So you can max get 10 tulips. They had an option uh, to register online, but a lot of people couldn't do it. So they do accept walk-ins. And right over there, Chrysler, my favorite building. Look at it, it's shining. The top, the antenna looks like a needle. I don't know if it's still there. I don't think so. It should be there until 3 or until the supply lasts. It should be gone by now. So here, East Houston Street, even though it's the same as Houston, but it's Houston. That's why a lot of New Yorkers, including myself, when I went to Houston, Texas, I was struggling. I was keep saying it, Houston, Houston. All right. I think I'm gonna keep walking on um, Broadway for now. Next Bleecker Street, if you walk towards west via Bleecker Street, you're going to end it up in the village, Greenwich Village, by the way. There are Greenwich Village, East Village, and West Village. Greenwich Village and 
West Village are like side by side. Technically, 6th Avenue is basically the border between Greenwich Village and West Village. But East Village is kind of towards an opposite way. Like, you had to walk towards the east from my current location. Both are lively. Both has their unique vibes, charm, that attract different types of people. Also feel free to let feel free to let me know in the comments if you had any question, concern, I'll happy to answer. Beautiful facade right here, look at it. Actually three buildings right here. It looks one huge building, but actually it's three. I love Northern Lights. I want to experience it in real life, married. I never had that experience. Like in the USA, you can get to some designated area where you can see northern lights it's been my plan for a while i want to do it <laughs> this is west Third street Great John Street, by the way. Imagine me doing a live stream of Northern Lights, but that would be a tricky one because those area I don't think so they will have enough like signal. Usually those are some really wildest part where you are isolated from everyone. kind of a nomad situation. One scooter, two riders, fun. Nowadays, um, we'll see more scooter cycle. I mean, I'll try to make some scooter video. I do had a few scooter different brand scooter they sent me for a review i did and now they are like <laughs> idling on my basement doing nothing so i might have to use them obviously I don't want to ride them too much into the city I might choose some area where I know that it's gonna be safe <laughs> safe environment hey Patrick welcome well now I'm really getting excited for tomorrow I don't know how, what, when I will do, but I am excited. 
also I don't know if I'm gonna see the next similar size of solar eclipse in our life <laughs> in my life again because I think this solar eclipsing happening right after 54 years later so yeah Red Shang saying, I passed a weed shop today, so much smell, I saw not the lights. <laughs> uh, yeah, New York City do had a lot of like smoke shops where they sell weeds. So yeah, I, I get a lot of complaint from people about that thing, that <laughs> some area, it smells horrible, it smells bad. I mean... I get it. I, I get that smell too. But yeah, New York City now uh, legal weed. You can legally purchase here. Wow, what is this? Looks like a dragon. We are here, Astro Place. Astro Place Cube is so fun. Also, the fast ever. Wegman, you will find, I mean, second basically, you will find here in Astor Place the Wegman's groceries. Broadway and East 8th Street. So basically, East 8th Street became St. Mark's Place if you walk towards the east, towards the East Village. Like St. Mark's Place is one of the liveliest street on the East Village. So yeah. A lot of streets changed their name. Like East 8th Street will become St. Mark's Place. Hey, Flush Wilson from Australia. Thank you. Glad you enjoy my Easter video. The bean, coffee, juice. Yeah, Missy Giggles, that's Saint, uh, Saint Grace Church. Uh, I think so, but I will make you sure that, that that's basically a church and they got a lovely magnolias, which is blooming right now. I'm gonna point it out. I already make one video from there, but I'm gonna point it out now again. I love that particular like magnolia trees. They do have a huge quenjan cherries as well. Uh, but that basically uh, will bloom, I think, uh, mid-April or end of April, depending on the weather. But the way I'm seeing right now, we are getting some warm weather coming up. So most of the quenjan cherry trees will be like blooming time I guess 
This is a lovely charge, by the way. From a side, it does look like the St. Patrick Cathedral, but it's not. Yes, this is Gris Charge, as I said. Right here, Gris Charge. It's Gris Charge Trinity. But I'm always excited for these trees right here. They are beautiful. And the magnolia is right now basically in peak bloom. After that, uh, the petals are like dropping, as you can see. I think it got a little bit frostbite from some severe cooler night. The petals, petal, pet, petals doesn't look fresh. But you get an idea. Hey, Drop, saying big fan, my wife Sonia says hi, Sifan, and me too. Hey, Sonia and Drew, welcome. Thanks for joining, appreciate that. Thank you, Sonia, appreciate that. Thank you, have a great day. This right here, one of the like iconic bookstore here in New York City. Strand Bookstore. Very iconic. Hey Chelsea, Judith, welcome. Yeah, Davy in Kansas, like, you can just go inside and spend like half of your day looking at different books and browsing different books. Beautiful architecture right here. See, they got the tulips too. But that's kind of sad right now, drooping, because I guess they're getting it in the morning and they're still walking with it. So that's some tulips from the Tulip Festival. 10 per person. Oh, look at that dog. So well groomed. She's beautiful. We are here at Union Square. Now you can see people. <laughs> it's flooded with people now.
Union Square is such a place like I would say that it's a cultural place. A lot of demonstration happen here. A lot of fun things happen here. And all weather chase competition are happening here uh, at Union Square. Union Square Park has its own charm. Uh, some people may find it a little bit like a uh, little bit inappropriate park to be honest. Like because sometimes you will see some interesting, I would say, things that you will not see anywhere else. It's same as Washington Square Park. Both park has its own charm with some really exciting, entertaining things. But let's walk with right here. Let's see some uh, cherry trees. Great. I had to mute here. I find a really cool uh, sculpture right here, Gandhi. Uh, and Gandhi basically surrounding with so many magnolias. This is such a cool vibe. Oh my God. TikTok things happening here. Right here, look at it. I love this particular view point. What is that on top of Gandhi's head? Is it some types of bird poop? Possible. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gandhi. Hopefully, bird didn't recognize you. <laughs> hey, Chelsea, Judith saying I was there Thanksgiving week and walked 9-10 hours a day that whole week many of the streets I first saw on your walking tour that's a really long walk oh my gosh 9-10 hours I can feel it but I I'm happy that you enjoyed your time here and you utilize that in a right way and I'm glad that my video helped appreciate that Thank you so much, Chelsea Judith. I appreciate that. I hope you're gonna come back here again because Thanksgiving week, that's the best time to be here in New York City, especially the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I can't wait for this year, but thank you, Chelsea. Appreciate that. So many musicians are here. So this is where basically it happened. The Tulip Festival, 200,000 tulips. Nancy said, good thing elephants don't fly. I know, right? Bravo, that's a lovely song. Oh my gosh. The tea leaves are so sad. <laughs> it's drooping. At least she got free 10 tea leaves. Oh, I feel so sad for those tea leaves. But nothing they can do. So this area was like packed with 200,000 tea leaves. Now nothing.
That's a funny tune. I like that tune. Then you think every woman in New York City got tulips away? Not necessarily. People who show up here for the tulip show, only they get them. But yes, of course, their loved one will definitely bring them some tulips for sure. I guess that should be. Give your girl some flowers every now and then. All right, ABC Carpet Home. Carpet and home. Here, we got some fresh flowers. Yeah, I'm on Broadway, so you will see more like this on Broadway. Yeah, Davy for sure. It's indeed such a fine walk. We start from Irish Hunger Memorial in downtown Manhattan. And now I'm here on Midtown Manhattan near Flatiron Building, which will be our like the last spot for the night. And I'm gonna call it a day. because tomorrow I might have to get out early in order to like find a perfect spot for the solar eclipse. And yeah, we'll see what I can do. This is Yukinox. Yes, Michael, I am on my way towards Madison School where park Nope, I'm not going to Niagara Falls. I don't have enough time. What a shame. This building, no way. One of the ugliest building in the city. Everyone hates this building. It's not only me. If you ask any New Yorker, especially if they're content creator, but in general, people hate this building because it's totally ruined the view of Empire State Building. Look how horrible it looks. But the people who will live into this apartment, I guess they will get a fairly good view of Empire State Building. Yeah. 
this used to be the best view of Empire State Building from here. Not anymore. That's such a fashionable way to carry your cardboard. <laughs> I love it. I love her confident. Like, without giving a damn care to anyone, she's just carrying her cardboard. Nothing wrong. I love it, lady. You go. <laughs> Flatiron is kind of abandoned now. I don't know when, how, who gonna do something about it, but flat iron is abandoned. You are still far away, taxi. Don't honk. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this video I hope you like enjoy this evening walk from Manhattan if so then before you leave hit that like button subscribe if you haven't and hopefully see you all tomorrow till then stay safe stay positive and keep exploring New York City with me have a great day guys bye bye